Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. And thanks for stopping by Dancing Critter Acres. My name's Dean. This video, I'm going to uh, uh, talk a little bit about bottle feeding or uh, supplemental feeding of milk replacer for uh, kids and lambs, okay? I haven't had to do lambs. I don't own lamb, sheep, but I've been raising goats for five years. In the five years, I've only had six goats that I've had to bottle feed. This past spring, we picked up four dairy bucklings from an operation, and uh, one of them was so new to the world that it was still wet from being born when we brought them home. So we had to bottle feed. So, and by the means of bottle feeding, this is an empty soda bottle, okay, or a water bottle. This is a nipple that we picked up from Tractor Supply, a little on the dusty side from being stored for almost a year. But uh, we picked it up at our local Tractor Supply. We did have to modify these lamb nipples a little bit. We had to open the ends up a little bit more for the goats to be able to drink from them. There's uh, other nipples called a preacher nipple. Some people have, swear by them. My experience with them is, is and I could have just gotten some bad ones, is that they leak, okay? Uh, to put these nipples on, best way I found, usually I've got this uh, little ring cut off. Get it on there about like so. Get my finger up against it, grab a hold of that tab, hold on good, and just pull it around. Pull it over, okay? And then I go back around. You can kind of see how it's, boogered up right there. I just massage it a little bit with my thumbs. Get them into place. Give a little pull on the nipple. Tip it up a little bit. Check. Make sure that it's not going to leak. Okay. I really like these bottles. I really do. Main reason is, is they're inexpensive. But the best thing is, is I can regulate how much each kid gets as far as replacer goes okay cleanup is pretty easy with them too cleaning them out pop the nipple off you just saw how easy it comes off rinse this out real good with hot water rinse this off real good with hot water if you've got a dishwasher throw it in the dishwasher sanitize it we're all good i've also got which we picked it up from capia capria supply.com and I'll put their website link in this bucket feeder okay it's got 10 holes in it the kit come with 10 nipples 10 milk house tubes 10 check valves to set it up so you can feed 10 animals kind of a pain in the butt to set up because you got to break it back down after each and every use clean it out a little green check valve goes in one end. Don't push it all the way in. I found out the hard way. Just get it in there good enough to where it is in there and it's seated good. Nipple, the center hole, milk house tube goes into it. You just wiggle it in. Get it seated good. Okay. When you install it into the bucket, you want this tube facing down so that this is against the bottom of the bucket and they can get all the replacer out of it. I'll put the nipple in, kind of show you. Okay, you just push it in. Then there's the shoulder that you gotta pull until you get seated in, okay? That's so that when the kid gets buttoned against it, pushing against it, or the lamb gets pushing against it, they don't shove the nipple back in and then you gotta open it up. There is a lid for it, but like with most stall plastic lids, if you push it down, it's a real booger to get back off of it. So I just put it on there enough and got two of them to clamp and then was able to take it off there. Uh, let's see. That's about it uh, as far as what we've got. 
This came with a little metal stand, four-legged metal stand that this set down into, and it would uh, hold it up a little bit, which was good when they were still pretty small. But then as they got taller, uh, when we tried it, we had problems with it. That bucket, we cannot regulate how much milk replacer the young animal eats. If they get too much, they can end up with what's called scours, which is diarrhea in that animal, or diarrhea. And if not cured and treated fast enough, you can end up losing that animal then. Uh, that's where I liked the bottles, because I could regulate how much each animal got and give them per servings. As far as do you need to bottle feed? No. Okay. Should you be ready in case you have to bottle feed? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, uh, a half a dozen empty water bottles, uh, four nipples, pick you up a bag, a small bag of uh, whatever species that of livestock that you're raising, milk replacer, as long as it's unopened, it's got a good shelf life. You can make up uh, a gallon at a time worth if you need to go through that much, or you can just make up a single serving or two at a time, put it in the fridge, and it, it stays good for like, I think, I want to say 12 to 24 hours. I can't remember exactly. Uh, so... You know, you can make up a couple of them. Kids, uh, only because, you know, I've been raising goats, need to eat, oh, I think once every four hours for, I think it was their, their first four weeks. And then you can jump them to once every like six hours for a couple weeks and then go once every eight hours and then go after another couple weeks. And then around that nine, 10 week area, you can start going every 12 hours feeding them. Uh, and then once they're eating hay and eating their grain, if you grain uh, good, you can take them down to one and then go one once a day feeding and then Go like every other day and then skip a couple more days and then just take them off the bottle. So, guys, I hope that helps out. Uh, <laughs> it's on the cold side tonight. So, I'm going to go. If you've stuck with me this long and you're new to the channel, do me a favor. Go ahead and tap that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. Maybe check out some of the other videos. Give me a thumbs up on the video and share this video. And any others that you enjoyed. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, if it's no more than just saying, hey, stop by. Uh, cool. I will respond. I will get back to you. Might take me a little bit, but I do respond back to you. Guys, my current subscribers, many thanks. The insight and support that you guys give me on uh, the videos is really good. Uh, it's, it's just all around good stuff. So I greatly appreciate you, each and every one of you. So uh, it's cold. I'm going to go. <laughs> so as always, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. Many thanks for stopping by the channel. You guys take care of yourselves. Best wishes to each and every one of you. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. This is Dean from Dancing Crude Acres. Bye, everybody.